With more than a billion dollars of your money coming its way each year, the ABC is always looking for new ways to spend it. And while it has enormous trouble just reporting the news sometimes, it also likes to cook some up, which is one reason it does a survey called Australia Talks. It's really just a low-rent way of concocting stories based on getting people to fill out online surveys. We want to know what Australians think. All Australians. Yeah, well, those who watch the ABC or join the ABC surveys more like it. The ABC pumps out, of course, biased, jaundiced and ideological charged material, as we show you here week after week, and then they survey how their audiences reflect it back to them. It's pure genius. We've been analysing the answers to share the key findings with you and put them to the people in charge of this place. Well, great. So then they get it and they use it like push polling to try and influence our politicians. What could possibly go wrong? Now, some of the survey material they pump out is just silliness, you know, like the public broadcaster pretending it's radical or avant-garde because it dares to talk about things like sex. We need to talk about sex. I'm Zoe and this is Australia Talks in 30 seconds. Us Aussies want more sex but not necessarily in marriage. In news that will shock no one, men like porn a lot. More than half of Australian men say they watch porn at least once a month. Only 21% of women say the same. A quarter of us admit to masturbating at least once a week, while only 6% of us admit to doing it daily. Have your say. Head to abc.net.au slash Australia Talks. Yeah, well, before you rush off to fill out the survey, that sort of stuff there, that'll just get the teenagers giggling, won't it? But there is stuff that they pump out that's more pernicious. I mean, the ABC could hardly talk about Australia without criticising Australians, could they? And we all know the green left inner city types that the ABC like to portray the rest of the country as racist bogans, don't they? So according to one of their early Australia talk stories, the ABC tells us that three quarters of us reckon we're living in a racist country. So they take your tax dollars to confect artificial stories designed to insult you and your fellow Australians. But instead of stopping this sort of corrosive indulgence, the ABC chair indulges and promotes it. And I was particularly in agreement, I'll tell you one, about racism in sport. Something like 69% of women say, yes, there is, and 51% of men say, no, there isn't. So I find that quite interesting. Women are, women are far more conscious of racism in sport than men are. But that will be explored in more depth as this survey goes along. Yes, weeks of excitement to come. Yeah, all that excitement to come at the ABC, hey? Surely these pontificators must be getting close to the point where they decide not to take any more public money, not to take any more of your money. I mean, surely it would be hypocritical to oppose racism and then proceed to live off the largesse of the racist Australian taxpayers, which is how you frame them. How do these people live with themselves?